we are back now with extended coverage of our flood catastrophe. Sophia Beausoleil is live at a shelter in the Katy area with more on what's being done to help families who are displaced. Sophia? Well, we are at the Fellowship Church, which is at the corner of Peak Road and Westheimer Parkway, and I have Pastor uh, John Cordes with me. So I know you said a lot of people have opened up their homes to folks who have been flooded out, but um, not that many people have been signing up. So what do you want people to know? Well, first of all, the outpouring has been tremendous. We have over 300 homes where people have gone online, said they want to host a family, and they've been waiting for a phone call. And as people are coming off the water, they're coming in, they're decompressing, here. Some of them say we found another place to stay, which is awesome. Uh, some of them say we need a host home. And so we've had about 46 people actually be placed in a home. But I don't think people know that this is here. So it's a huge resource ready to be used. So if you don't have a place to stay, come out here. We'll find a home for you. That's fantastic. And you know, uh, a lot of people in this area around Beck Junior High, Creech Elementary School, uh, they lost their homes in, with all this unexpected flooding. And so I know it's probably very comforting to stay kind of in your region. Right. There's just, the kids can go to the school close by. They have a, a place, a, a private room, great cooking, home cooked meals, and a family that can really just love on them and help them get through this next step of their own displacement. So John, I want you to show us, we're going to walk into the epicenter of where all the volunteers have been working. So I know that y'all have been working really hard to organize because we've got dog food, we've got crates over here, uh, we've got toys, we've got so many other things. So talk about this effort uh, when it comes to getting all of this together and we'll walk and talk. Yeah, you know, people come in with their pets and crates. Uh, some people come in and they have a, a allergy to animals and so what we're really trying to understand is that every situation is different and we just want to meet that need. Uh, the community has gone overwhelmingly huge in their support and they've brought clothes upon clothes. This is about, I don't know, one tenth of one percent of everything they've given. But we have clothes in every different size. A lot of these people come in barefoot because they've just walked through water. We have socks, we have fresh, brand new underwear for them, which is a little bit of dignity, to be quite honest. Absolutely. And people want to feel clean. Exactly. So for those that have lived in the Cinco Ranch area and they've been devastated so bad, mm -hmm. the need to feel clean is just a small little gift that we can give them. And the community has helped us do that. Thank you so much, John. We Absolutely. appreciate it. Again, this is the Fellowship Church at the corner of Peak and Westheimer Parkway. Reporting live from Katie, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.